Okay guys, so uh, I'm gonna do a review on the Empire Resurrection Autococker, and I'm using a little bit different uh, of a setup. I am uh, I connected the camera right directly into uh, my computer, and I'm working from my computer, and so I can have a live feed going from my computer to this, and I can adjust all the settings on my computer. So, without uh, dwelling on that too much, let's get into just a quick. Uh, showing of the gun if you did not see my uh, unboxing well here it is uh, and let's start with the review from right here you have a quick start guide and uh, on paper which I don't have with me right now it's in where I keep all my manuals uh, like geo3 manuals and everything like this uh, the actual manual is on a CD which is uh, it's good and bad if you if you understand your autococker you might not really need this but uh, if you're on the field and something goes wrong and you don't know, you don't really have your laptop to connect this and uh, see uh, your manual. It comes with a pretty nice Allen, uh, Allen set. Uh, let me see if I can work this nice focusing feature I can use on my computer. Hold on, is it focusing? I have to probably get some work done with this. I'm gonna get this in focus, and here it is. Oh, let's back this up. Oh well, it's not important. Uh, I guess I'll have to play around with this just a little bit more for it to, uh, for me to understand how to use this. Okay, that seems to be in focus. Let's get this a little bit more focused. Okay, there you go. Uh, then we have the autococker itself. Uh, it comes in multiple finishes, but the two main ones are this. Uh, it it kind of seems a little bit uh, purplish, but it's uh, it's a gray, and they also have a straight black. So let's get this out the way. Uh, it has a six-piece barrel system with a nice barrel tip, uh, pretty nice control bores. And as you can see, it is a uh, 675, 680, 685, 690, and 695. 690 and 695 uh, is prob probably not going to be used by you that much, but since this marker ships worldwide in places such as uh, Russia and Asia and South America, they do have a uh, larger bore paint. Uh, so you have a small parts kit. Uh, it's not too much, not too. Uh, little it has a uh, macro line it has a little uh, tubing for the pneumatics it has just a little bit of lube not that you're ever going to need some spare screws uh, two spare detents which will work on eclipse so you can use a uh, regular eclipse uh, detents if you lose them some uh, bolt o-rings and some sealing o-rings so that's it in a nice carry case stuff doesn't mix that stuff really doesn't mix. It's nice and uh, secure. So let's just get two barrels out of here. Okay, put this in here. Uh, the packaging is not the best. Uh, it is a very nice case. It has a excellent fitting foam. As you can see, this is intentionally made for an autococker, not something else. As you can see, the cuts are specifically for an autococker. It has a little cutout for the bolt pin, which is really nice. It has a little curved edge right here, so you know this was made for this nice uh, bolt uh, for the pneumatics. It's not like something bigger than this that, that was used from the pump that Empire made. So everything fits really nice and snug. So that's actually really nice and considerate of Empire to do. This back here. Okay, so and it's a regular barrel, so it's not reverse threaded as a shot four barrels. And uh, basic uh, overview, it has the LPR, RAM, 
and uh, slide trigger frame so it's nice and quick uh, grips with two screws on each side uh, it is a macro gun so you have the macro here on off ASA that does purge uh, regulator and unlike the sniper it does not have uh, the gauge it is an adjustable uh, LPR Let's see what else uh, clamping feed neck with a brass insert so you don't uh, have grinding on your actual feed neck keeps it nice and clean uh, open bolt uh, gun. This is the bolt. Let me actually. Ooh, dropped it. There's the bolt. Actually, switch over to how I like to do it. With a uh, manually focusing this. So I'm just gonna keep this uh thing real quick, nice and sweet and short. Uh, what else? Uh, you have uh, eye plates that are screwed, I guess. Uh, it's nice and light for an autococker, uh, as they should be safety right here. Um, and I like the gun personally. It's a nice shooter. It's smooth. Uh, you can't. You pretty much. It's impossible to short stroke. Uh, it's very nice and the triggers are nice and uh, snappy. Which is awesome. Uh, regulator, fine. It's pretty consistent once you get uh, once you get it broken in. Uh, you kind of have to mess with the little IVG. Uh, pretty much like you know a pump or an autococker. You kind of have to sweet spot this, which I already did. Now it shoots uh, really nice. The ASA, if it's like this and it gets stuck on your clothes, it might uh, air up the gun. Hopefully you can see that. It's because it's really easy to go back and forth. Uh, which is actually good and bad. I really don't see the point of uh, it being bad that it can catch on somebody's clothes, but that uh, was pointed out. Uh, the the back and forth of the bolt is very nice and smooth. Uh, I didn't notice anything too catchy with the bolt going back and forth when shooting. It also has an integrated bolt sled, which oh, let me focus that in. Which oh, I guess I. Oh, I did uh, put the bolt in wrong. There we go. So now you can actually see that when the bolt goes back and cocks itself, there's a plate right here, and when it moves back, it covers the slot it just came from. And uh, this is for when you get paint. You get shot here. You know, you're coming around. So many bunkers you get painted here because it is open bolt uh, design. It doesn't get into your thing, your actual IVG and uh, messes up your shooting and everything. So let's focus this back out. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, what I like about this gun, they uh, they focused on weight a lot because as you can see, it's a, uh, focus this up for you. It's milled everywhere for design and lightweight, even though uh, this won't really take off as much weight. It does look nice. Then the triggers milled out. Then you can see, uh, let's see, this part's, even like small minute details are always milled out. The inside of these, uh, you can see little holes. This milled out. Uh, out of the regulator bottom, they're always milling out. Even for small details like the on-off ASA, or a little knob or whatever. The flip, it's milled out. The actual ASA is milled out. So it's always uh, been, as well as I said in my uh, pump uh, review, they always focus on weight. And uh, they really did. Oh, like for example, right, like right here, they also cut it out. So you could have left it flush, but they cut it out right nice. So, I mean, even though it was for a moving part right here, they still cut out way more just to save space. Right here. Right here, they cut out space, and then right here, they cut out space. When they put the Empire, they took actually a lot of material out right here. You'll notice when you actually get the gun right here, they took off a lot of uh, material just to put the Empire name on. Done on both sides, probably just to get the name out, and also, let me actually lower that, probably to get the name out and uh, to save weight. As you can see, even on the bolt, like the actual tube right here, the upper tube, 
they milled out here and on the bottom. So weight was a big uh, consideration when they built this. Really nice and uh, lightweight. Shoots uh, not like an autococker. I mean, it shoots like an autococker, but doesn't at the same time because it's smooth. It's really smooth, actually. It's a lot quieter than most autocockers. Uh, you don't short stroke it as much. I mean, I was in pretty some close quarter situations when I mean, I just like pumping off like this, and uh, didn't notice that I had a short stroke at all. So they did a really nice job with uh, redesigning the trigger. I do like that they have a safety right here, so I can keep uh, my loader on and uh, keep it gassed up, so I don't have to gas up, regas, gas off, regas. So I can just put on the safety and then time comes, take it off. Just have a nice O-ring. See if I can get that. Yeah. You can see that little red O-ring. That uh that's to show if it's on or off. Right here it's flush. So yeah. Uh the the grips, they're molded. So uh, they're nice. Oh it has this nice uh grippy stuff. I guess for comfort and when you have paint on your hands, you can still grip it. Uh, it's a nice gun. The only concerns I've had with this uh, was it is priced a little higher. Let me focus that for you. It is priced higher than the sniper, and what you get is two unnecessary backs, like a 690 and 695, unless you're international and you actually need those backs. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, also, when, when shooting and you have kind of weird angle if you're gripping a gun like most people like this. Alright, so uh, I'm just gonna, my battery cut out. So uh, I was saying when uh, you're shooting and you have your hands like this, this actually gets in the way. This actual rod, it goes back and forth. If you hold it really tight, actually uh, you can't really shoot it. As well as uh, this rod over here, if you're switching hands and you're holding it like, like this, this rod also gets in the way. That's my only uh, gripe, so basically two unnecessary uh, barrel sizers that you won't need unless you are outside of USA or say uh, places that actually need 690 and 695 and the price is higher than the sniper which is pretty much this gun except a pump and has two less backs but includes the same the box it just looks the same, you get the same uh, same barrel system, you get the same tools and everything. So, uh, just wait for the price to go down if you want this, but the price, it's out of your price range. But if you are not buying this only because of the price, but you really want an autococker and you're like, let me get something that's older, I really suggest you getting this because this is way more reliable. Uh, you won't have as many problems as like carnivore. Well, I mean, carnivores are great guns. But uh, sometimes they can be iffy, and parts are not there. This is made by Empire, so all the parts will be here if something breaks, and it probably won't because, I mean, Empire is a very solid uh, company. So, yeah, uh, very nice. If uh, the price is the only thing that's driving you away, uh, do reconsider because even though the price is high, you're paying for a marker made in 2013, not 1990 or something, you know? So, if, say, I don't know, this rod right here, it, it breaks because you tomahawk the gun. Empire will send you a new one. And I'm not sure if it's for, for free because you actually did that yourself. But they will send you a part unless calling WGP, which doesn't actually exist anymore. So, yeah. All the parts are here. So, that's why I was going to cut that short anyways. Yeah, so a uh, great gun. I really suggest for you to guys and go get it if you're interested in this. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So thank you.